Step in the box, baseball fans. Welcome back for another episode. We got a pretty unique one here today, guys. This is uh, an honor, first of all, to be even to looking through and holding these cards. But uh, I have a friend that I've known for quite a few years now. He has an amazing collection of vintage cards. And th what's crazy about these 20 cards that he's submitting to PSA, um, I am submitting these to PSA for him. Um, these are his duplicates. like these, the, And these aren't even his best copies. He has an amazing collection of vintage cards. And uh, again, he came over. We went through, got a 20-card vintage put together. And um, again, these are duplicates that he had. So, I mean, he's got some real uh, amazing collection, binders and binders full of 50s, 60s, and 70s baseball cards. So here we go. Let's go through these. I got these listed in order because I couldn't even tell you the years to all these. But this is a 54 Willie Mays. 54 Willie Mays. The color on this is amazing. Number 90. These are cool, cool cards. Uh, the next one is a 55 Warren Spawn. That sticker's not on the card. It's on the outside of the card saver, and I'm not touching the cards, man. He brought them over. I'm not pulling these out at all. So number 31, Warren Spawn. Again, amazing. Here is a 55 Bowman Willie Mays. 55 Bowman. So like when you look at the new stuff with the TV, this is where you get the from the Bowman from, man. So Willie Mays, number 184. Again, these are sweet. Another Willie Mays. This is a 55, number 194 Willie Mays. Again, amazing looking cards. Pretty good shape, too. I mean, I'm no vintage grader, but these are pretty good. Here is the 1956 Willie Mays Grayback. Check out that card. Again, this is, this is fun right here. This is a 1956 early win card number 187. Pretty sweet. Let's go to the next one. We got a Bob Gibson, 1969 Bob Gibson, card number 200. I mean, look at this card, guys. This thing is pretty, I mean, the centering's not great, but man, it's pretty freaking clean. I'm telling you, his set is amazing. I mean, the back's got a little bit, I mean, but <laughs> you start thinking how all these cards are and how good, like, he's got some nice copies. And these are his duplicates. That's wild. We got a Fergie Jenkinson from or uh, Fergie Jenkins from '69. You can see where the heritage got the you know. That is a nice looking card. As a Cubs fan, I would love to have this card. It's an amazing card. Here we go, Raleigh Fingers from 1970. Again, when you open up modern cards and you're looking at the heritage, this is where they, the designs are coming from, guys. Nice looking card. Don Drysdale, card number 120. That is from 64, 1964. Look at this card. That orange looks great. I mean, there's... There's freaking ultra modern coming out of the packs that look worse than some of these. That's what's funny. Amazing colors and cards. Here we go. Louis, I, I, I always mess up his name. White Sox shortstop. I'm not even going to butcher it. Number 310. Another great looking card. 
centering on that looks good too. Here's Frank Robinson from 1959. Card number 435. What do you guys think about these cards? I would love to own some of these. Here's Bob Gibson. This is card number 320. This is from 1965. Love that blue on there. That is a cool card. Even though I'm a Cubs fan. Another Bob Gibson. This is from 68. This is card number 100. I mean, this is a good looking card. I mean, again, I've, I've got ultra modern cards that have more white on the edges than like there's a little bit of white there. But I mean, again, for as old as these cards are, this thing's in amazing shape. Another Bob Gibson. It's a cool looking card. I love that card. If you go back 2017 archives, they use these cards. Judge has a card in here that looks, I love the judge in this. But what year is this? That was Bob Gibson, number 73. That was 1960. 1960. Got a Duke Schneider, 57 Duke Schneider. Again, I'm just blown away. These cards are sick. It's an honor to just be holding these. Ron Santo, Cubbies, baby. Again, these are all Hall of Famers. Ron Santo, 1963. Great looking card, too. I mean, these things are sick. Got a Lou Brock. 1965, Lou Brock. Got a Hank Aaron from 1970. Look at this card, man. It's in great shape. Look at these stats. 554 jacks up to five to 1969. Insane. But again, what a card. That is a cool card. And then we're down to the last one. This one is a 1971 card number 26. Burnt by Lemon. Twins pitcher. So again, man, what a collection. I want to keep these in order, but wow. I mean, just it's so cool to be holding cards this old. I mean, 54 to 70. 1954 to 70. You won't see. And like I said, I'm I talked to my buddy, and I'm hoping when I get a thousand members or more that he I told him I said, hey. Hopefully you can let me come over to your house and we'll pull out, we'll go live in your basement and go through some of his binders of, cause he has football and baseball. And trust me, he's got, he's got folders, binders and binders full of complete sets in the fifties and sixties and seventies. So again, if you like this content, please hit that like button. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Definitely not the usual around here. Vintage, you won't see these too often. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.